You recognize this? You've probably seen them around your hospital, especially if you work in surgical. It's a BIS monitor. But what does it do? Why do we use them? We're going to cover all that coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Did you know it's estimated that one to two patients out of every 1,000 experience anesthesia awareness? Anesthesia awareness is when your body is sedated under anesthesia. You can't move, you can't speak or scream, but you might hear everything that's going on around you. And you might feel every cut, poke, and burn from surgery. What a nightmare. There's a solution called BIS Brain Function Monitoring, or Bispectral Index Monitoring. Back in the 1930s, doctors created electroencephalogram monitoring, or EEG, to see what's going on with a patient's brain waves. They tried deciphering those waves for years, without much luck, but they always knew somehow those waves could help them figure out what goes on in a patient's brain while they're under anesthesia. In the 1990s, the brain waves were simplified down to a simple numerical scale from 0 to 100. 100 being fully awake and, well, 0 having no brain function at all. The zone of 40 to 60 is most common for normal surgical procedures. Over time, this has become a standard in operating rooms because it shows that a patient is properly sedated without over-sedation or under-sedation. Due to the variety of patient health conditions and physiologies, anesthesiologists can customize anesthesia delivery to the specific patient. Custom dosing not only saves time and reduces risk, but it also saves money for several reasons. This technology has come a long way over the years. The early monitors were monochrome displays with simplified numerical readouts. Too simple, some may say, since the brain waves vary greatly depending on the type of anesthesia being used. Modern BIS monitors have better algorithms for prediction and for giving more accurate BIS index readings. A typical BIS setup will either have a removable module, which interfaces with the patient vitals monitoring system, or it can be a standalone monitor. The electrode assembly is either completely disposable or only the electrode pads might be disposable. The EEG signals are collected and processed in the LOC module and then they're sent on to the monitor. If there's any questions about the accuracy or serviceability of a BIS monitor, test the LOC module and all the cabling using a BIS simulator. It looks like a little key. The only remaining questionable item would be the electrode assembly itself and the skin prep when applying the electrode assembly. Guys, this is BIS monitoring in a nutshell. If you have any further questions about this technology, I suggest you guys check out the many other videos I found here on YouTube. Please like this video if you appreciate this type of content. It greatly helps the channel with YouTube's algorithm and it tells me what type of content you want me to create in the future. Thanks again for watching.